Who killed caretaker Umberto Ramos? The 26-year-old lived in Santa Cruz Village on the Southern Highway and recently began working at Grace of God's Block Factory in the village. But on Thursday morning, the Guatemalan national was found dead with large chop wounds to the head. He had been murdered inside this wooden shed on the company's property where he has been staying for the past two months. His body was discovered on a bed by co-workers when they arrived at work around 7 a.m. that morning. In the morning when they come in for work, you know, we look for a man, but when you find a man, man dead in there, you know, so we don't know exactly what happened. He's you know, a straight man, you know, you know, no problem, nothing, just work, work every day, you know, so we don't know exactly what, what's going on. You know. Tell me where you say when you go on inside. Well, we just find the man dead in my bed, you know, so I'll chop up, you know, so we don't know, we don't understand what they go on, you know, what if you have... Well, you know, just have two, two chabun in her head, no? Ramos only had a few relatives who lived in the village, and this morning, they, as well as Supervisor Abner Mendes, traveled to Independence, where statements were taken by police investigators. I understand that the last time they say I left them when everybody left for the day, the Tuesday, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think everybody just left. I go home, no? Like, everybody stopped work 5 o'clock. After that, you know, we never see the man until next morning when we find him dead, no? Well, he had been a couple of months in that. I don't know exactly the, the amount of time, right? But I know a couple of months, so we know the man a couple, couple days already, you know. He's a street man, no? And he lives here on the property? He stay here on the property, yeah. He just stay here and sleep, you know, because uh, he normally just um, renting at the village. So instead of rent, no, he just stay there and, you know, sleep there. No pay, no rent, nothing, just stay there, you know. There were no signs of forced entry into the shed, and it is believed that he knew his machete-wielding killer. Did he ever complain to anybody about, you know what, maybe somebody may threaten his life or anything like that? No, no, so far we, no, we never heard nothing, you know. He, like I tell you, he just come work, you know, go inside, sleep, eat, you know, and just, you know, no, we don't see the man around, no drinking, nothing, so we know, we really don't understand the situation where he's going right there, you know. Between Moody for News 5.